Okay, let's do subtraction. I'm gonna show you how it's done first without borrowing and then with borrowing. And I'm gonna compare binary on this side of the sheet with decimal. That's gonna be on this side of the sheet by and large. So let's get started. Same binary, a number could be written as how about one 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 and from this number I want to subtract one zero one subtract it's fairly straightforward one take away one that's zero one don't take away anything that's one one take away one zero again one take away nothing because there's an invisible zero there that's one and that's all there is to it. It's fairly straightforward. It's very similar to in terms of decimal thinking. If you have a number like, say, 256, and, uh, and, and that's, that's not, these amounts are not parallel. The thinking is parallel, okay? Not these actual amounts, because that's not 256. And say a number, it's got to be just less than 2, less than 5, and less than 6. How about that number? And you subtract it, straightforward, 6 minus 5, 1. 4 minus, 4 taken away from the 5 is 1. And 1 minus 2 is also 1. So, you see when the amounts in the lower number are less than the amounts in the upper number, you can just subtract without having to borrow and do uh, any kind of uh, extra work with borrowing. Okay, so that's straightforward, without borrowing. Next page. Sorry. With borrowing. Let's have a decimal amount. Say, one, zero, zero, zero. That's a nice convenient amount, and from it we want to subtract one, zero, one. You cannot take away one from a zero. You need to have an amount here. And for that, you need to be borrowing. But you can't borrow from here because there's nothing there. You can't borrow from here because there's nothing there. You have to borrow from all the way there. And just to help you visualize this one, here is a visual jogger here. This is the ones column consistently. And these are the twos. These are the fours. And those are the eights. So. Let's get started. So the upper number here, 1, 0, 0, 0, is 8. Because there is a 1 placed in the 8, eight column and there's nothing else. And this one is done. Is that you take away that 1. And there's going to be 0 here. So this is 8. Instead of having 1, 8 dollar denomination, we're going to have how about first round, we're going to have two, we're going to have instead of two, four dollars, how about that? Instead of one, eight dollar denominations, we have two pieces of four dollar denominations, okay? Previously, we have zero, zero four dollars here, now we're going to have two four dollars there, but remember, two is written as one zero in binary. Here's a memory jogger. One, two, and three are written as. Okay, here is zero as well. Zero is zero, one is one. Two is written as one zero, and three is written as one one. Because these are the ones, and those are the twos. So one placed in the twos column, that's two. One placed in the twos column, and one placed in the ones column, that's three altogether. Okay. So now we have, instead of one piece of an $8 denomination, we have two pieces of fours, okay? That's still eight. That's nice for the fours column, but I also need something in the twos column. So I'm gonna take away one from the two, and I'm gonna have one four left, and I'm gonna have two twos. One four and two twos is the same thing, right? We still have eight in total. A $4 denomination and two two dollar denominations there. That's still eight bucks. And then that, that works for this column, but I still need something in this last column here. So instead of two of these, I'm gonna have just one of those. 
and I'm gonna have two loonies or one dollar coins or bills in the ones column so four five six seven eight we still have eight in total now we can start subtracting that we have something in the last column here in the ones column and you read it as two two minus one is one one take away nothing is one one take away one so that's a zero and there's nothing there so that's the answer you can check it on a calculator fairly straightforward let me just show you how this one's done the calculator is set to okay this is decimal mode and it's set to binary if you go second function binary now the calculator is in binary mode so let's go one zero 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 minus one oh one equals one one and if you want to know what these are in decimal you're gonna have to convert it or just press second function decimal so the last answer was three that one is three there same thing and uh, it works exactly this this kind of thinking is exactly the same as in the decimal thinking okay in the decimal thinking say we've got I don't know we've got a 500 bucks and uh, we want to pay uh, $27 from it just very quickly same kind of thinking instead of five $100 bills I'm just gonna have four one hundred dollar bills and these are the tens and these are the ones and uh, and I want just, just four of those and ten pieces of these okay four hundreds and ten tens I still have five hundred bucks right and instead of ten tens you know what I want just nine tens and I want ten ones four hundreds nine tens it's 490 plus 10 ones it's still 500 that's how borrowing is done for subtraction in the decimal exactly the same thing in terms of logic and now you can take away from 10 take away 7 that's a 3 9 minus 2 that averages to be 7 and 4 take away nothing that's a 4 so same logic through that. One more example. Oh, that's bad. Okay, done. One more subtraction, maybe a little more challenging. Say we've got 1011, take away 101, and take away one more amount, 11. Now what do we do? We're gonna have to borrow again, because we cannot take away two from that one we need to have this amount increased we need to borrow from these ones across here so that this one increases a bit as a reminder again those are the ones column the twos the fours and the eights and uh, this is how it goes instead of one placed in the eights column i'm gonna have zero placed in the eights column and I'm gonna have two fours instead of zero fours okay because one eight splits into two fours that's that's a given instead of two fours which is still an eight I want to split it and I want only one four remaining here and I want two twos two twos plus one four that's still an eight now these two twos add to the existing one here so you have to add that one zero and the one together and that's gonna make a one one a three and uh, that works well for this column but I still need something here instead of a one one here in this column I wanna take one away borrow one from that column and lessen it by one and I'm gonna have a one zero instead of a three now I'm gonna have a two here in the twos column 
and I'm gonna have two ones added to this column but these new twos add to the existing one here this is an upside down addition and you're gonna have one one you're gonna have three pieces of ones in the ones column so this number here this one zero one one has been regrouped into a one in the fours column two in the twos column and three in the ones column that's a four five six seven eight nine that's a nine sorry that's not a nine four five six seven eight nine ten eleven that's an eleven sorry guys my bad that's an eleven and originally we had eleven here there is one placed in the eight eight column so that's eight nine ten eleven we still have eleven so now we can borrow sorry now that we're done with the borrowing now we can subtract one one minus one plus one plus one is two so one one minus two is gonna be one so that's a three minus two is one it's done next one is we have two there two minus one is a one one take away one that's nothing and zero take away zero there's a nothing there let's check it on a calculator shall we second function binary let's enter one zero one one minus one oh one minus one one equals one one okay the math checks out you're gonna need to borrow this subtraction and uh, and uh, borrowing for subtraction, practice it.